Hey everyone, got quite the treat for you today. I'm joined in studio by a former Pflugerville standout, mm -hmm. former Texas Longhorn All-American, and now a Super Bowl champ, Alex Okafor. Thanks so much for taking the time today. Mm -hmm. Alex, of course, a member of the Kansas City Chiefs. Yeah, Didn't get yeah. to play in the Super Bowl, mm -hmm. but it seemed like you enjoyed every second of it. Just right. take us through what that experience was like. Man, uh, you, you hit it right on the head. I wasn't able to, to be able to be out there on the field, and that was hard within itself. Made the, the whole experience a little bittersweet, but at the end of the day, man, people get hurt every day in this sport, and not many of them get to say they were part of a championship team. So, you know, I look at it that way. And uh, I've just been blessed throughout this whole situation. And it's, this whole run has been unreal. And, uh, you know, I appreciate it every step of the way. It seemed like you and your teammates just had the time of your lives at the parade. Mm -hmm. What was it like celebrating with a fan base right. that's been waiting for something like this for so long? Right. And uh, that's, like you said, it has been a while. Um, Chiefs have so much tradition that people don't necessarily realize that we haven't been to a Super Bowl in, I, I want to say, over 50 years. So. That, that tells you the type of excitement that came around once we did make it and once we won that game. Uh, that parade was unreal. The, the whole city shut down. Kids, I think, were let out of school. Um, I want to say around 2 million people at that parade. And uh, I've never been a part of anything like that. And it, it's something I'm going I'm to take with me the rest of my life. I don't think I'd be doing my job if I mm -hmm. didn't ask you about the face of the team, maybe mm -hmm. even the face of the NFL at this point. <laughs> right, absolutely. A guy that, like you, played mm -hmm. his high school ball here in Texas. Of mm -hmm. course, we're talking about Patrick Mahomes. Absolutely. It must be pretty fun to play with a guy like that. I think the most exciting thing about him is that not even what he does in games. Y'all get to see what he does on TV during games. I think the thing about it is being at practice with him, and he does unreal stuff on a daily basis. and. You almost, you almost have to step away and, and not get numb to it. Like at practice, he'll do something crazy. And a couple of people notice it, but not everybody, because we're just used to him doing stuff crazy. So, uh, you know, he, he's an unreal athlete, unreal player, unreal person. And, uh, you know, I'm just I'm lucky that he's on our side. So we were talking off camera about mm -hmm. the similarities between Andy Reid mm -hmm. and then Mac Brown, obviously right. your coach when you were here playing at Texas. Mm -hmm. Take me through what makes them like-minded, mm -hmm. similar people. Right. Um, I'm not going to get into philosophy or anything like that, right. but just, just they're genuine people, man. I think, I think it would be hard to find anybody that's ever played for them to say anything negative about those two guys. And those are kind of the consistencies between the two. They genuinely care about their players, and uh, it shows. So for you, this past season, your seventh mm -hmm. year in the NFL, dealt with a few injuries, but how pleased mm -hmm. uh, with your performance with the Chiefs in your mm -hmm. first year with them right. were you leading up until that injury? Man, it was a, it was a rough year for me injury-wise. Uh, little nicks and, and bangs up here and there. But, uh, I mean, as, when I was on the field, I was productive, and, and I felt like I helped my team tremendously. And, uh, and it showed while I was playing. And, uh, you know, I'm getting back to getting healthy so I can pick up right where I left off next year. Yeah, how's the recovery process going with the torn Oh, uh, man, I'm close. Uh, I don't have a timeline, but I'll definitely be ready by next season. And, uh, I mean, it's, I won't have any setbacks. And so you're back in Austin. The time between now and the start of OTAs, mm -hmm. training camp, mm -hmm. what's on the schedule for you? I know you mm -hmm. have a football camp here yep, that yep. a lot of people get excited about. Right, right, right. So I have my, my annual football camp. This will be the fourth year. I'll have it June 27th. Um, everybody come out. It's for all ages. Um, and I'll, obviously every year I bring out a couple of my teammates, a couple of play, guys that I've played with and whatnot, and a couple of guys I used to play with in Texas. So they'll all come out, we'll have a good time, and, uh, you know, put on for the kids. Um, other than that, I'll be enjoying my break. It was a long season. It was a long season. So I'll enjoy the time with my family, my friends, catch up with things like that. And, uh, you know, just get refreshed to make another, another run next year. Definitely well-deserved. Mm -hmm. We'll get you out of here after this one last question. Of course, it. your Texas Longhorns make mm -hmm. a, a series of assistant coaching changes, mm -hmm. maybe most notably on the defensive side of the ball. They bring right. in Chris Ash, mm -hmm. transitioning a little bit, three-man front to a four-man front. Right, right. What can that do for mm -hmm. a defense, obviously a defensive guy yourself, mm -hmm. just in terms of getting playmakers in the position to make plays? Man, um, one thing I know, uh, I can't speak for the whole defense. I can just speak for the D-line, like you mentioned, three-man front, four-man front. What it does is allows our guys to get a little wider out there on the edge. And what I know is we have athletes, especially in that defensive end room. And uh, that kind of showed in the Alamo Bowl last season. And what it will allow them to do is get a little bit wider and be able to show their athleticism and come off that edge with some speed, man. So uh, 
I know those guys are probably excited about that. Um, but more than anything, man, um, if you're a good player, you're going to show it on the field no matter what scheme you're in. And uh, I think, I mean, I trust our coaching staff, and they'll get the best out of our guys. That's former Texas Longhorn, now Super Bowl champion, Absolutely. Alex Okafor. Thank Thanks you. so much for joining us today in studio. Thank you. I appreciate it.